Hello people, it's not an unboxing video, but we have definitely got to talk about the Pocket 4K and the 6K. Now everyone's aware that the Pocket 4K and 6K, the USB port has been enabled for things like camera control, record, start, stop and other things. But it only has one USB port. That means SSDs like the T5 or the Sandisk Extreme, they're out. SD cards, eh, it's kind of pointless. So you're left with expensive CFast cards. But you still can record to SSDs, and I'm going to show you how. That's where a device like this comes into play. Let me show you what's in the box. Yeah, the CC Tech, it's um, a CFast uh 2.0 to ssd which is this option they also do the msata one uh yeah let's have a look as you'd expect these sort of things always come very well padded um and uh yeah and here we have it it uh has the thickest cable yeah, thickish cable. The build quality is solid, it's all metal. And uh, you also get this bag that has a lot of mounting options. Um, let me show that to you now. It has some uh, industrial Velcro. Um, then this sort of, this plate thing that uh, that can go into. Then the screws screw into the drive itself, uh, the back of the drive, for mounting. Um, sorry about that noise. It has this, which it is not cold shoe size. It's a bit smaller and it's also not NATO size. Uh, well, you know, we've also got one of these discs. Yeah, well, quite a number of options for mounting. Yeah, this is my uh, all-in-one build that I like. You know, it can go from gimbal to tripod to pretty much anything. Um, yeah. And uh, what I have done is I have mounted the CC Tech adapter right here. Now, I use the Weeble S, which is a small gimbal. Um, and with camera control going into the USB, this is the only choice that I kind of had uh, that was cheap instead of buying so many uh, CFast cards. Put it in there, take your drive, slam it in, you know, and you're good to go. I have a second reason, not just because of the gimbal, uh, and for that, we need my shoulder rig. It uses the Nucleus Nano, and the Nucleus, the uh, tilter, yeah. They recently came out with, uh, what's it called, the run-stop cable. So that gives you USB start-stop control from the wheel. And, uh, you know, it takes the USB port, so obviously, that's gone. So on one of the rods, I now mounted the C-Tech. Um, it's just using a simple thing like a Pico plate. Not sure if you'll be able to see it. It's just mounted on a Pico plate. And now, you know, I can also still record to SSDs. Here it is on the Weeble S, um, which is one of the gimbals that has camera control. So I'm just gonna put in the cable. This goes into the USB port on the camera. I'm waiting for either tilter to make a USB female, that'd be pretty useful. And then I can route this through here. Uh, okay, let me just make it easier and come this way. And it plugs. There's a port here. It is, plugs right in to the gimbal. Come on. Yep, plugs into the gimbal. And now you can control the camera from the gimbal and 
we can still record to SSDs. That was the whole point. We now have a camera control uh, through the USB and we're able to record to SSD. That's brilliant. So here we can see it as I move that on the gimbal. You can see the f-stop or aperture closing. Now as I said, you know, I'm gonna skip shutter. If I'm on 178, it will work. Um, yeah, it's their software, it's their firmware. And then let's go to ISO. We're on 400 there, let's go down. I can go up, um, go back to 400. Then, of course, record start stop. Uh huh, that's recording. Uh, all this from the gimbal. And then, of course, we also have, ouch, we also have focus. focus on the gimbal and uh, you know there you have it how um, you know useful it is to be able to record to SSD um, and have camera control both on you know like the Weeble and for those of you using the uh, uh, Nucleus Nano I took the gimbal out with uh, my neighbor I just gave him a shout asked him if he was just gonna come up the road uh, she didn't have really because the weather was terrible so we didn't really do much but there are a couple of clips and um, I'll let you see those shifted to this was so that we could use the USB the camera control and then how do we record to SSD is by using the CFAST adapter which comes into here to SSD and uh, yeah that's kind of what we get seems to be handling it fine. does a good job and also support your local business now the times are hard so we came out for some coffees and yeah we're neighbors so we can meet useful item really good I mean I'm, I'm glad I got them thank you for sticking around I hope you enjoyed this um, yeah I'll put links in the description and uh, see you guys in the next video